industry is producing, uh, and, and the man who is truly responsible. <laughs> yeah, we're selling. That works. <laughs> that works as Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay. Lovely to be back. I absolutely love this town. This is my wife Yvonne, my daughter Indigo. I love your daughter's posing. You yeah, got oh, some fierce moves, girl. She knows how to work the red carpet. She's a, yeah, she's a little she's a more pro. hip than me. <laughs> love yeah. it. How does it feel to premiere this movie here in Washington? Uh, thrilled. I mean, you know, first of all, President Obama uh, sent, you know, drills. He sent supplies and money, you know, to, to aid in the effort. Uh, and and so, uh, it's too bad he's not here tonight. It'd be nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'd get him a ticket. You know, I, I could pull some strings for him. Uh, but you know, I mean, it, it's quite exciting. But it, it it speaks to the fact that this isn't just entertainment. This isn't just another movie. This is uh, about an historic event uh, that happened that uh, uh, fascinated the world. And uh, you know, at the museum, obviously, you know, it's it's um, I don't know, it's a, a little bit of a Cinderella story, I think, not only for me but for the miners as well. No, but I, I've spent a lot of time uh, in D.C. Uh, you know, I've done uh, a number of political things, but I also uh, hosted an officer in a movie uh, that we uh, filmed here in D.C. with uh, with uh, decorated veterans and that sort of thing for the military channel. <laughs> It is indeed a great honor for the Embassy of Chile to participate in the presentation and screening of the 33 directed by Patricia Regan and based on the true story of the 33rd, 33 miners that in 2010 ended up trapped. Let me present and invite to this stand the director of this movie, Patricia Regan. Thank you very much. To bring stories of, uh, of the Latin community with, with Latin cast um, to the U.S. I think that, the, the, you know, it is probably for the first time in the history of the U.S. that we're going to see a, a story with a Latin cast in so many screens. So it's a very special occasion. We're in a time in which movies like this one don't get made easily because there's not a man in a cape. There's a man in a cape, but not a man in a cape. Uh, it's not a franchise, a superhero movie. They take a lot of, of effort to make, and Mike, you know, fought really hard to, to give us all the job to, to make it happen. There's one more chair. Somebody wants to join? <laughs> we'll be raffling that off later. Uh, your tickets are right under your seat. You the number, and then you can come up and ask, answer a few questions about your life. Um, I, I, since you haven't seen the film, I think it's kind of unfair to ask you to ask questions about the film or even about the story. But um, I, I'm sure many of you we're aware of the story when it happened five years ago. I wanted you to know that we just got back from Rome where the Pope met with the miners. And what was interesting to me is that you see the story <clears throat> was that one of the first things he did was to bless a five-year-old child that was brought by one of the miners that happened to have been born the day the father came up from the darkness that he had lived for those 69 days. <clears throat> so the first thing he did was he talked about hope. And the village in which all of these people were, had been set up was, was called Camp Hope. And um, I think the, the general message of the Pope was that, you know, there has to be some hope for you to continue to live. <clears throat> 